Hey YouTube, what's up? It's me, Gas Bass Collecting Kid. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing. Yes, it is the M9A1. I bought mine in the 10, brand new, unused. Um, I bought it for thirty-five dollars. I thought it was great. Um, there's a key. Well, there's a key that goes right here, and like goes right here. And what happened was, is it says over here, to open container, remove key from container, and you have to pop open the tab. Well, problem was, my key broke. I was pulling it off, and it just snapped. So, the key did me no good. Um, and what you would pop off would be, I don't know if you can see it, there's like, here's the metal, and then here's the container part. What would pop off was, the con like, the top part. Well, what I did, because mine didn't work, I, um, uh, I took a hammer and a, a flathead screwdriver, pounded holes through it, and, uh, almost like a chisel. And so I got it off, I mean, yeah, I kind of screwed up the case here, and this is scratch, because I, I was kind of mad, I even, I even had, on some parts, had to take the, um, take saw to, had to take the saw to it. So let's get on to the mask. Here it is, all wrapped up. It says across the sign, M9, M, uh, mask protective field M9A1, size medium. So I have my, my razor right here. I'm going to cut this open. I'm just gonna cut it. Stick that thing. Um, this mask was. This was um. This mask was for from the 40s to the 50s. Um, and it was replaced by the M17A1. Okay, so I got all the strings off of it. So it's like unwrapping a present. So here's all the paper with the writing on it. Here it is, the bag and everything. Um, there's the U.S. stamp right there. Um, if you buy an M17, um, the bag, it should have the same symbol. That's the U.S. symbol. Well, I mean, not U.S. symbol, but that symbol is for the military. I don't really know much about it, but that's what it is because it's on every single U.S. gas mask bag. Um, I don't know if it's on the current one, the M41. Okay, so I opened this bag up. Um, I don't see any pockets on the outside. There are no pockets on the outside. So, when I open it up, there's the mask and stuff here. Let's see if you can see it then. Right, I moved the light in here so you can see. Yeah, yeah the mask is in here. What's up with this string? They have string in here, too. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So, I just pulled it out of the bag. And this is what it looks like. This looks like the finish. See any similarities? <laughs> oh, wait, here. S um, both on the left intakes. Oh, this one's a little bit bigger. This is probably a small Manoser. Oh, no, this is a medium. It's size 2. So, this is a medium, and this is a medium. So, this one's smaller than this one. 
Okay, so here go here's the filter in the back. Um there again that pesky this pesky string. Uh so you can tell the time they time and effort they put into these masks. Cause some the, a machine couldn't do this. Someone had to have taken the time to, you know, when they manufacture them, someone had to have wrapped it and the good old days where I actually do stuff. Stuff is a pain to get off. So right now I'm just trying to pull pull this string off. Okay, there we go. So it's some more string. Okay, and here is. Okay. Okay, here is the uh, filter. I'll show you the finish in a second. So this one was produced in 52. You can see right there. Um, this gas mask was made in New York. I can tell you that too. Um, there's a cardboard piece in here, don't worry. Um, I bought this because this, this will probably be the end of my collection. Someone also uh, taped this theirself. This is all from the manufacturer because this was a closed tin when I bought it. So if you have one that's like different than this, you probably bought it without the tin. This is straight from the manufacturer. This has been sitting in someone's like garage or something for, for years. So this is the real deal. Okay, so here's just the cardboard. Okay, on to the mask. Um, it has... It has this odd... I'm trying to figure this mask out. It doesn't have a voice box. So, the finish has a voice box. The U.S. does not, but the finish didn't come out for years later, so... Yeah, whatever. Um, one thing I just noticed... There's this like grippy stuff, like here, it's like, it's really weird. Um, I guess that's to help with a better seal of some sort. Um, this mask is very simple, triangular lens pieces, uh, intake, uh, exhale. Um, if you ask, oh, the filters, before I forget, oh, here it's. US, finish. There's just different markings on them. They look very similar. There's just different markings on them. Oh, yeah. On the back, it says U.S. Right there on the top. I don't know if you can see it. U.S. Um, so, yeah, it says U.S. here. Um, back to the bag before I forget. Oh, it's dusty. There's a little bag of some sort in the bottom. Some sort of stamp. Oh my god, it's a bomb! No, I'm joking. Get it out. Okay. Anti-dim cloth. Here, I'll read it. Anti-dim cloth, the cloth is to be applied to the eyepieces after each time that the mask has been worn. If the cloth becomes wet, allow it to dry without squeezing. Um, yeah, that's all it says on it. I'm going to assume... Oh yeah, it's just a little cloth that you can pull out and just for wiping it off. So here's the cap. Here it is again. It's cool. It's a nifty little white to say. Um, what else is in here? Um, there's a lot of pockets in here actually. There's one. Oh yeah, there's a couple straps probably to go around your your leg. Okay, so yeah, there's two. There are two. Um. There are two, uh, 
spots in, in the bag itself. Um, now I'll put this mask on. I don't know if it'll fit me very well. That's kind of weird. I guess it has a back neck, so you put this around your neck. I, I see like this, so see this would clip around the back of your neck after you put it on. Oh, it smells! <laughs> oh, it smells. So besides that, um, it's pretty, it's actually really comfortable. Um, fogs it, uh, lenses, uh, um, lenses are pretty comfortable. Um, so, oh, gosh. I like this mask because it's handmade. This mask is handmade basically, except for, you know, the manufacturing clamps and stuff like that here on the islands is. <coughs> Other than that, this mask was handmade. Uh, everything that is now machined on, you know, like the taping down here, now that's clamped and stuff. Um, you know, I, I just like that, so... So now, here, I'll get all of it. I have my M40, US M17A2, M17A1, and M9A1. So that's going to be, that's my entire US collection right there. I'm going to start collecting Russian gas masks. I'm probably going to start with the GP7 or the GP5 or uh, PMG. So yeah. Um, I, some people may be asking, there's another U.S. gas mask, the MSA one, that's full phase. Well, I'll look into that. I'm not going to get that now, I, because that's a special branch, so, um, if you don't know what that is, then don't worry about it. I'll probably get one later on. So, yeah, peace.